everyone, this is your boy Kevin, back again with another video. First of all, I hope everyone's doing good. Thank you for being here. Today I got another interesting phone for you guys. So in front of me, I got another Wish phone. This one, it's called Mate 40 Pro. The cost of this phone is around $50. I mean, Canada cost me $50 to get it here, but this phone could be more expensive or cheaper the country that you're at. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna unbox this, we're gonna see how is the performance on this phone, we're gonna download a game, see if you can actually uh, play games on this phone, we're gonna go take some pictures, we're gonna see the picture quality, we're gonna browse through the internet, we're gonna see how, can you even browse through with this phone through the internet or not, we're gonna watch a video, we're gonna see if it's gonna lag on us or not. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna let you guys know if this phone actually worth for the price or not. Before we start guys, make sure you smash that uh, subscribe button and uh, press the bell, so every time I make a new video, it reminds you guys. So let's start this video guys. This phone comes in uh, four colors. It comes in green, purple, black, white. Let's unbox this. Let's put this away first. Let's see what's inside the box. Just uh, cables guys. Just cables, wall charge. And I think they give us headphones too, yeah. So these are like dollar headphones, nothing special. They're pretty bad, you can just snap them off. And you get a silicone case. Let's see this. And you get a silicone case, nothing special. And you get a key for the SIM card. See this, wow, the design on it is so nice, guys. Let me take this plastic stuff out so you can see uh, better. I got the purple color because I like purple. You don't see too many uh, purple phones around. And let's take the screen protection on. And you get a screen protection. Actually broke, it's gone. That's that. Honestly, the design on this is so nice. Like, look at this, guys. Like, it's really nice, but it's really heavy phone. Like, I mean, really heavy. Let's see how many cameras. Only one is real, guys, just the top part. And you get a front camera. You get a headphone jack. You get a flash. And you get speakers. Let's see if you can open it. Does it even open? No, it does not open. And your SIM tray is right there, guys. This is dual SIM. So this phone, it is multi-language. They say on their website, it is uh, multi-language and you can use it anywhere in the world. And this phone comes with fingerprint unlock and face unlock. But remember that, Wish phones, usually the fingerprint and face unlock do not work. They're all fake. And this is what they're advertising. And this is what they're selling us. We're gonna do a spec check on this. We're gonna see if all the specs match or not. So let's go do all I'm that. gonna do a full phone check and see if everything matches or not. I'm gonna use one of my favorite apps, phone check. Display, the this resolution is 480, 96, zero. And on their website, they say this phone is 2400 HD. And the hardware, it's MT6570. So there's another screw up on their website. They say it's 6779. And total, it's 4.8 gigabyte. On their website is 8 gigabytes plus 256 gigabyte. And the camera rear, they said is a 32 megapixel, but it says here 1.9 megapixel. And the front, it's a 16 megapixel. Here it says 1.9 megapixel. So the specs do not match. Okay guys, so this phone comes with fingerprint unlock and face unlock. I keep trying to uh, connect the face unlock, but it does not work. It keeps crashing on me. But the fingerprint unlock, we're gonna check it out right now. Try it. Opened it. Let's see if it works on another finger. Yeah, it does. So I think it's fake. Let's try another finger. Yeah, so the fingerprint unlock, it is fake. And if you guys can see, it's got hardly any lag in the front. It's pretty damn quick. Like it responds really fast. Like look at this, boom, 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 really quick. Let's start from the settings, guys. 
So for top setting, you get Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb, SIM, airplane mode, auto rotate, flashlight location, left, right, nothing. We're gonna go to actual settings, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, SIM, data usage, more. You get your airplane mode, VPN, display, brightness level, it's max, it's pretty damn bright. Wallpapers, you can let's see what kind of wallpapers they give us. So yeah, you get the usual wallpapers that all oh, wish won't have, nothing special, you have to get your own guys. You get your sleep mode, let's change that to 10 minutes. You get your front size, and that's pretty much it for that. Your sounds and notification. This phone does not get loud at all. This is like max. And that's pretty much it for that. You get your storage. Tells you how much storage you got. Battery, apps, dirt speed, location, security, accounts, language. Let's go to language. These are the languages that this phone comes with, guys. Actually, it has a lot. Lots of language. Then you got your backup and reset, time and date, schedule a power on and off. You got your uh, printing and about phone. Let's go here. This it tells you your model number. It's a Mate 40 Pro. And the phone total memory is 256, 8 gigabytes, Android 10, and etc. So that's pretty much it for the settings. Make sure you guys have a lot of patience. If you're trying to download anything from our Play Store, it's going to take a long time to download, guys. Like, I mean, a long time. And as soon as you open the box, out of the box, this phone comes with full Google support. Like, it comes with everything. It comes with Google Play Store, Google Photo. It comes with all the Google stuff. So now let's see the apps that this phone come with. So you get your backup re and reset, browser, calculator, calendar, um, camera, clock, contacts, download, email, face unlock, does not work, Facebook, file manager, fingerprint, and uh, FM, AM radio, Google, map, messages, uh, music, phone, uh, photo, play store, search. Left, right, let's go here, settings, uh, sim, sound record, voice search, WhatsApp app, and YouTube. So that's pretty much it for the apps. Now let's watch a video on this phone on YouTube. See if the video quality on this phone is good. Is it gonna lag or not? So let's go. Let's see if we can actually rotate. Usually wish phones do not rotate. This one you can. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna press play. Actually, let's see the quality this phone can uh, play videos on. Let's go here. So max is 480 guys. The video in the background that I have is 1080p. So max on this uh, phone is 480. And that's the sound. Sounds so bad. You can't even hear anything. It's like something stuck in there, like plugged in there. I can't even hear anything. It's starting to lag out a little bit, guys. This play is nice, but it's starting to lag out a bit. Now let's see if we can actually play games in this phone. Let's see. I've been waiting almost eight minutes, guys, for this game to load. Now I'm waiting another 10 minutes for this game to load. So all together, I let this phone sit for 18 minutes now, guys. Finally, I can play this game after 18 minutes waiting. Ridiculous. For gaming, you can play it so far, but make sure you have a lot of patience just for it to upload. Okay, let's go through the camera. It doesn't have much for me to show you guys. 
This phone does come with HDR. Let's go to settings first. Let's go to video. So you got high, medium, low. That's the rest. These are white balances, color effects, and etc. Then you got uh, your flash. Let's go here. That's your HDR right there, guys. You get your face beauty. The face beauty is not much on here. So when you press it, it just goes on face beauty mode. You got your normal mode and you got your pan aroma. So let's see how many zoom this phone's got. You get four times zoom and that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to take some pictures and some videos for you guys. So you guys can see the quality pictures and videos this phone takes. So let's go check them out. Okay guys, now my opinion about this phone. What do I think about it? Honestly, first of all, the camera quality and the video quality, they were horrible. Honestly, the display on this phone, it is bad because you can actually watch a video, but it's gonna start lagging out. Then the sound quality, it is so bad that you can hardly hear anything. For gaming, make sure you guys have a lot of patience because it's gonna take a lot of patience to play a game on this phone because it's gonna take so long to upload. It took me 18 minutes just to upload a game so I can show you guys. And the phone does lag out a bit. So if you're trying to browse through the internet and stuff, it's gonna lag out and it's gonna drive you nuts. The only good thing I think on this phone is, is the battery because the battery is 4,500 milliamp. It's gonna actually last you a long time. This phone is really heavy. And uh, if you wanna carry this phone all day, in your pocket or holding in your hand it is gonna bother you overall for the price my opinion it's a no-go but you guys let me know in the comment what you guys think i hope you guys like the video that i made for you guys do not forget to give this video a thumbs up guys and i'm gonna catch you guys on my next video so peace out for now